Well, by, by certain um, studies, they showed that the average American man lives to be 79 years old, but their health span ends at 63. So you have 16 years of ill health before you die. So you're talking about expanding that those good years. Yes, absolutely. You know, I think there's two ways that we can age. And forgive me if it seems like it's black and white. There's the top trajectory of living strong and being very capable and having activities of daily living, being able to do the things that are very meaningful to us. And alternatively, I think that we've seen this with at least my aging parents, well, not yet, but their aging parents, mine hopefully never, and they become frail and unable to take care of themselves and have a ton of metabolic dysfunction, that's preventable. And part of the reason that we are in the space that we're in is that we haven't focused on the right tissue. And forgive me for being a little long-winded, we focused on this obesity epidemic for the last 50 years. And the quality of the answers and the way that we can change health is by asking the right questions. So I would argue that we don't have an obesity epidemic. We have a midlife muscle crisis.